Asphalt roof shingles come in many different colours, textures and patterns. They're one of the least expensive roofing materials and are highly durable. But beware anybody with a flat roof. At the heart of every asphalt shingle is a membrane. It can be made from fiberglass or, like this one, wood chips or even recycled cardboard and paper. The giant rolls of membrane feed what's known as a felt looper. It builds up enough reserve so that workers can change rolls as needed without stopping production. From there, the membrane enters the saturator, where it's drenched in hot liquid asphalt, a petroleum derivative. When this saturant dries, the membrane will be impermeable. Next comes a thicker asphalt coating, mixed with powdered limestone. It's applied to both top and bottom. This coating will make the membrane flexible. It'll also form a protective barrier against harsh weather. With the coating still wet, coloured ceramic granules are spread over the top surface. This gives the shingles their colour and makes them resistant to the sun's ultraviolet rays. Granules that don't stick to the wet asphalt get recycled back into the system. Next, a cellophane strip is applied to the back surface, so the shingles won't stick together in the package. Then the back surface is showered with powdered stone to also prevent sticking. Even at this point, the asphalt coating is still piping hot. Too hot for the shingle material to be cut to size. So it's off to the cooling section, where cold rollers and water jets bring down the temperature. The next machine sticks on strips of adhesive asphalt. The sun's heat will activate them, keeping the shingles stuck to each other. There's now a choice of how to cut the bottom edge of the shingle, which determines the shingle's profile. On the way to the cutting station, the shingle material passes through the finish looper. Like the felt looper we saw at the beginning, the machine accumulates enough reserve so that production won't come to a standstill if there's a problem. The cutting machine chops both size and profile. Standard shingles measure 100 by 33 centimetres. This model has a straight edge, but some styles have a curved bottom. An automatic counter keeps track of production. The shingles are automatically stacked for packaging, usually 21 sheets to a bundle enough to cover roughly three square metres of roof. Asphalt shingles come in 50 different colours and in about a dozen different shapes and profiles. Each bundle of shingles is wrapped in paper that's been treated with polyethylene to prevent water penetration. The bundles then go onto pallets, which the factory then wraps in a plastic bag that's water and UV resistant. Generally, the thicker the asphalt and granule protective barrier, the more durable they are and the longer the guarantee. So, the choice is yours.